Annyeong, and welcome back to another episode of Go Billy Q&A. This is a show where you can ask me any question you'd like and get an answer to it. Today's episode is actually all about Korean fluency, um, how long it takes to get there, what it requires, and things like that. I've gotten a lot of questions related to Korean fluency, so I thought I'd take this video to answer a few of those. So let's get started. So our first question we have from Long ACT on YouTube who asks, Just how fluent are you? Do you understand 100% of Korean movies, Korean news? Can you read novels in Korean with ease and with speed? How long did it take you to get to a point where you could say, I am fluent? Thanks. Well, I think, you know, maybe I should just answer this one in Korean. 먼저 제가 생각하는 유창하다라는 단어의 뜻을 말하는 것이 좋을 것 같습니다. 오늘을 유창하게 하는 것은 아, 모든 것을 100% 이해할 수 있다는 뜻이 아닌 것 같아요. 제가 영어를 유창하게 한다는 것은 모두가 동의하겠지만 아, 그래도 제가 영어로 쓰여진 반지의 제왕을 읽을 때 조금 어렵고 계속 사전을 찾아봐야 했어요. 그래서 영어를 100% 완벽하게 이해하지 못하지만 아마 99% 정도 이해한다고 말할 수 있고 그리고 제가 하고 싶은 말도 99% 정도 할수 있는 것 같습니다. 대부분의 한국어를 이해할 수 있고 제가 하고 싶은 말도 대부분 할수 있습니다. 그래서 이해하는 것이 불편하지 않고 어, 하고 싶은 말을 대부분 표현할 수 있을 때 유창하다는 단어를 사용할 수 있을 것 같아요. 이러한 기준으로는 아, 저도 어느 정도 유창하다고 말할 수 있을 것 같습니다. 잔편 소설은 잘안 읽지만 아, 대학교 다닐 때 단편 소설을 많이 읽었습니다. 비록 사전을 찾아보면서 읽어야 했지만 아, 영어로 된 소설 역시 100% 이해하려면 아마 사전을 사용해야 했을 것이라고 생각합니다. 저는 매일 열심히 공부를 하는 사람이 조금 더 빨리 어, 유창하게 될수 있을 것이라고 생각합니다. 빠르면 1, 2년 안에 가능하겠죠. 그런데 열심히 공부를 하는 게 아니라면 더 오래 걸릴 것 같습니다. 유창하게 되는데 걸리는 시간은 아, 그 언어를 얼마나 자주 쓰는지에 따라서 바뀔 수 있는 거죠. 하지만 간단하게 한국어로 대화하는 것이 목표라면 매일 조금씩 하는 연습을 통해서 1년 안에도 가능할 것이라고 생각합니다. Anyways, thanks for the question. Now let's go on to the next one. This one's from Chili Beans Pootie Butts, who asks, 안녕하세요. Billy, I'm learning Korean and want to know if it's possible for someone to become conversational in under a year. Also, what do you think is the best way to learn if you do not have practice buddies who will speak with you, as well as correct you when mistakes arise? It's a good question. And um, yes, I was just mentioning this, but I definitely think it's possible for someone to become conversational in Korean in under a year. Um, I know many people who've done this and they didn't live in Korea, they just learned by studying on their own. If you have practice buddies, that's really going to be the best way since there is no other way to get practice. However, if you don't have any practice friends, I'd recommend making some as it's really a benefit. And even if you have to meet friends online, it's still much better than having nothing. You can meet friends through a chat application or on the internet and chat in Korean with them to get practice at first. Although eventually the best way is really through regular speaking and listening Korean. So you'll have to make sure that somehow you can incorporate that into your studying. Maybe you and your friend can practice by sending each other audio journals in each other's language. Maybe they're studying English and they can send you their audio journal for correction and vice versa with your Korean. Just something so that way you're able to speak Korean and listen to Korean with them because that's really the most important kind of practice that you need. And thanks for the question. And for our last question, we have Adrian who sent me this question by email. What is the fastest way to learn Korean and be at your level? I've been living in Korea for one year and I know some basic words and sentences, but it's just not making sense yet. If you're living in Korea, you have a great advantage over other people in that every single day you can practice listening, speaking, reading, and writing Korean. And if you're in this situation, I'd highly recommend making Korean friends. If you can, Korean friends who don't speak English very well or who are interested in doing a language exchange with you. You might be able to find some friends at an English club who'd be happy to help you practice Korean in return for helping them with their English a bit. And also, if you haven't already, I'd recommend starting to learn Korean traditionally using either text books or materials online. Start with a good book and some good resources and set a daily schedule for yourself to study. Maybe do 30 minutes a day if you're busy or an hour if you have a lot of free time. Anything is fine as long as you're keeping at it daily. And that's the end of this episode. Thanks for your questions. And if you have any questions of your own, feel free to send them to me and you might see them featured in the next one. And remember that new videos are posted every week, so if you haven't done so already, click subscribe and follow along. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.